I'm finishing up my two month trip to 15 countries in Africa. From Swaziland to Somaliland and literally every country in between. It has been incredible, spiritual, eye opening and unforgettable. People tend to think that Africa is dangerous, filled with crime, war, disease and poverty. When in reality, Africa is an amazing continent full of life, nature, diversity and smiles. I realize there are still 36 countries in Africa that I haven't visited yet. So the advice in this video strictly refers to the places I have been, but it will likely be relevant for everywhere. Also, please take what I say with a grain of salt because everyone has different travel preferences, budgets, and allocated time. That being said, here are my top 12 tips for traveling to Africa. One, fly everywhere. Africa is massive. It can fit the US, China, and Brazil inside of it. Unless you have years to spend, then you should be flying most places. Take advantage of local airlines such as ProFlight Zambia or Rwandair. It's best to arrive in the daylight for safety, especially over land borders as they close before dark. Crossing the border now into Lesotho. Two, bring extra US dollars. Africa is very expensive, especially if you're a foreigner. You will get ripped off and it's inevitable. US dollars remain king and are accepted everywhere. Most visas require payment in US cash. Bring three times the amount of dollars you think you'll need and have small bills for tips because many people can't break 20s. Also, make sure your bills are unripped and newer than 2013 or else many won't accept it. Three, get local SIM cards. I just got a SIM card here in Uganda. <laughs> if you want your phone to work, which I highly suggest, then your best bet is to get SIM cards from local providers. My T-Mobile SIM card and TEP hotspot device didn't work in most countries, so local SIMs were a lifesaver and they're usually pretty cheap. It's connected now. Four, bring bug spray. Africa is hot and humid, which attracts mosquitoes. Bring lots of bug spray to avoid getting malaria or other mosquito-borne diseases that will ruin your trip. I didn't take malaria pills or any other meds. I just protected my body. Five, other travel accessories. This is why you need to have wet wipes in Africa. I just walked around and got so dusty, my legs are destroyed in dust. Ugh. If I had to recommend an essential kit, I'd say bring wet wipes, sunscreen, a headlamp, hand sanitizer, outlet converters, and always have bottled water. Six, have patience. There's an expression called TIA, meaning this is Africa. It refers to things being very slow, always, like the Wi-Fi and the roads, which have many police checkpoints and speed bumps. And the traffic is horrible. If someone tells you five minutes, they really mean one hour. Seven, say hello and smile. In many African cultures, it's important to simply say hello and acknowledge each other's presence. How are you? Fine with you. Good. So Don't be intimidated by all the attention you'll get. Most people just want to welcome you. And if they call you Mzungu, it means white person, but not in a derogatory way. Eight, get out of cities. The Maasai tribe is the most well-known tribe in Kenya. As we are now crossing the Omo River to visit the Dasanich tribe. Take as many trips as you can into local villages to observe local lifestyles. Get in the bush to see animals. That's the beauty of Africa. That was a beautiful good pick calling me. City life is still fun, as in Nairobi. This is called a Matatu. Joburg and Addis Ababa. I'm here in Addis Ababa. But the real experiences lie off the beaten path. Nine, befriend local drivers. Uber doesn't exist in the majority of cities and you will need to hire private drivers to take you around. Make friends with one and he can also be your guide. Beverly is the man. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I did this in every place. Hello. Best driver in Malawi. Yes, it's expensive, but safe and enjoyable. 10. Prepare your visas. Check in advance which countries you'll need a visa for. If you're American, then you can take my exact trip without applying for visas in advance, except for Somaliland. I got all visas on arrival at the airport or land borders. Just crossed into Uganda, got my visa right here. And they cost anywhere from 30 bucks to 130 bucks in US cash. 11. Dress down. Get rid of your fancy watches, shoes, and shirts. You won't need them. Try not to look flashy as it just draws unnecessary attention. And always remember to respect the culture and traditions. 12. Mentally prepare. So we're swarmed with these little ladies trying to tell us bananas. Africa will have its ups and downs. It's both challenging and enriching. Beautiful and dirty. I can't see or breathe. Just prepare yourself for a wild adventure and realize that these experiences can't be replicated anywhere else on earth. Finally, here's some quick tips. Make sure to have your yellow fever shot and proof of it because you'll need to show it at some airports to get inside. Bring all over-the-counter and prescription medications with you. It's in your best interest to avoid seeing foreign doctors. Have good travel insurance. I use Allianz and they're great. Always be drinking bottled water. <sighs> And lastly, try to be awake for the first few hours of daylight. It's the best time of the day to explore. If you have any further questions about traveling to Africa, please comment below and I'll answer them so everyone can benefit. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.